Yeah, I don't have the selfie stick, but that's all right. I'll go back and get it pretty quick. There's a real good chance, I'm just going to let you know, real good chance that I'm going to piss some people off with this video. Uh, if you've read the title, you know what it's about. Who's to blame for your financial problems? Okay, let's get into it. God, I keep trying to do this video. I keep getting distracted. I've got a quick 45 minutes right now. God, I've got to shave. And so, let's do it. Let's play the blame game. Everybody wants to blame the government. And listen, for good reason. The, go <laughs> the government has screwed us for decades. It's like they had this plan to push out the middle class. Okay, please don't. I don't care which government or which political party you're talking about. It makes no difference. I'm not aligned here, guys. I'm telling you what I've seen over 75 years. My dog's going to bark. Reagan deregulation corporations could do whatever they wanted to unbelievable battling the unions killing the unions that was all in the 80s oh but let's hop over to the democratic side clinton and nafta shipping jobs overseas shipping jobs to south america cheaper labor Hey, we'll get it back. No, we didn't. Okay, just like Reagan's trickle-down economics trickles. <laughs> it didn't trickle down. And I'm all for the idea. I have no problem with the idea of trickle-down. I really have no, no problem with corporations making billions of dollars. But some of those billions have to filter down so that people can make a living. Get serious. I don't know how you can argue with that. Even if you're rich, I don't know how you can argue with it. Okay, so we can blame the government. I'll tell you right now, it's not going to change. I don't care if Biden gets elected. I don't care if Trump gets elected. I don't care if some white knight swoops in at the last second and steals the election. It makes no difference. You're not going to re-elect the whole Congress with fair-minded people. So good luck. Okay. We blame Congress. We blame government. Now let's blame the corporations. Are they greedy bastards? Yes. Are they doing everything they can? We're talking the majority of the major ones. Are they doing everything they can, everything they can, to screw the little guy, pay as little as they have to in wages, not pay medical, not pay any benefits? Okay. Are they doing that? Yes. Yes. God. If you think otherwise, then you're one of the lucky ones who is in upper management. But wait, if you think your job is secure, you're an idiot. Okay. I don't know many jobs that are secure. Unbelievable to me. People are sitting back expecting things to change at some point. Listen, kiddies, things have gotten worse every decade for the last, oh God, I don't know, 40 years, 45 years. All right, we blame, blame corporations, we blame government. Guess who's the third body that we're going to take a shot at? Oh, that doesn't work. There we go. Guess who we're coming after now? Y O U. Let me tell you a story. It started really in the 50s. Unions were strong. People had good jobs. People were buying homes. And suddenly they had a little extra money. And guess what the corporations and banks were willing to do? They were willing to lend money so you could buy extras. 
so you could buy your foo-foo stuff. The bigger t the color TV in the in the late 50s, then the bigger screen, and then we had to have the latest gadgets, and we had to have a new car, and then we had to have a car for the little woman, and then it's a three car. Oh gosh, garage doesn't fit all the cars. Let's buy a bigger one, because hey, interest rates say we qualify, so let's just do it. Let's just do it. Consumer credit card debt is through the roof. Can't be paid by the average worker today. Can't be paid. And yes, I forgot my selfie stick. You know why this is frustrating? Because the proof is out there. You all know that I'm telling the truth. You're waiting for salvation in the form of a better job or lower interest rates or lower housing costs, they're not coming. The United States is built on a house of cards. We have no financial foundation anymore. We're not even respected globally like we used to be. Our dollar is worthless as worthless as it's ever been. The national debt <laughs> is probably the only other country that's worse is uh, Japan. And those are two of the major industrial nations 20 years ago. Today it's two nations that are facing bankruptcy if we don't get our shit together. And you're waiting for a white knight from the government? You're waiting for corporations to grow a conscience? You're in trouble if those things are true. You've got to change what you're doing. You've got to say to hell with it, throw up your arms, open up the garage door, start throwing out your extras, have a garage sale, and move on from there. If your house is too expensive, find a cheaper way to live. Don't say there aren't. People are living in RVs, people are living in... in tricked out buses people are living down in Arizona you could buy a lot of land in, in northern Arizona cheap and live there cheap people are saying you could live in Kansas for fifteen hundred dollars a month people say well I couldn't live in Kansas that's a boring state well then you're in trouble because if you're not willing to make the hard decisions you're in serious trouble There's the three places where you can poke blame. Government, corporations, and you. Hope it resonates with somebody. God almighty. I've watched this for decades. My parents were the, the group in the 50s, right out of World War II, bought a house, had a decent job. Unions protected them. They had a little extra money, so they spent more money. They got credit, so they spent more money. They spent money on shit they did not need. And when my dad died, they didn't have the money, or my mother didn't have the money to carry on. I had to support my mother coming out of college for five years until she remarried. They had spent themselves to the edge of, of disaster, financial disaster. And that kind of crap has been going on. We are inundated. Somebody said, they're on average, we see... God, like 5,000 ads a day, 5,000 ads a day, we are brainwashed into spending money, and we do it. Time to get control of our lives, folks. I'm in control of mine. I don't have any debt. I own nobody except for a car, and that's compared to what I'm making. It's nothing. Nothing. I don't have mortgage. Don't have utilities. And I had all that. I made the conscious decision to get rid of it so that I could afford to live life without credit and without worrying about money. So don't tell me I don't know what I'm doing. I'm 74 and I sold my house. I had what everybody calls financial security in a mortgage. <laughs> the death rattle. I could hear the death rattle. And I don't want to die that way. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Like, 
subscribe and if you want to go over to patreon uh we take uh we we offer patrons a three dollar special three dollars a month to support what we're doing all right guys good luck all of you bye